Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tyler with My Computer Works, and today we are going to be talking about the computer cache. That's right, computer cache, not cache. I know a lot of people get that wrong because of the E on the end. It's confusing. We understand, but it's computer cache. We're going to be talking about what it is, why it's important, and why your IT guys or um, any technical professional or anybody who might be doing troubleshooting on your computer might clear that cache in the event that you're having an online issue, right? So first let's talk about what is the computer cache and why is it important? So the computer cache is kind of like that, that part of your brain, right? That tells you where you've been, the things you like, the things you've done, right? So it's like a built-in memory on your computer that helps you with all these things, especially when you're cruising around online. Cause every time you go to a website, there's different site elements that have to download to your computer. There's like pictures, and different clickable links and different things, the forms, whatever, whatever makes the website what it is. This is all data that has to come from some server location and come to your computer, download to your computer so that you, the user, can see that nice end result, right? That user interface you're used to seeing with the pictures and all the different elements, the web page, right? So if you go to a website a lot, your computer's memory, that built in cache, right? remembers that information so that every time you go to the website, it doesn't have to download all that information again, right? Uses some of the stored information in the cache to improve your browsing experience. It makes it faster, might autofill passwords. You've got the password manager now built into the, uh, into the browser and you've got history, which all three of these kind of work together to make your browsing experience seamless, right? It's really nice when you can just cruise around online the websites you go to open quicker, fill in the information quicker. It makes your online experience and browsing experience much more positive, right? So why would you want to clear the cache? If the cache does all that for you, if it remembers your information and helps autofill some of the data for the website to make it faster, why would you want to clear that? Well, it can overfill. So one of the top three reasons that you might need to uh, clear the cache in your computer or clear your browser cache is because that memory can actually overfill. You can have too much. So there is a cap on that. You can't just keep sticking information in there. Unfortunately, it's not like our memory. And come on, guys, let's be honest. If we stuff too much in there, we'll start to forget things, too. So your computer will start to overflow if you have too much in that cache. So you have to clear it every once in a while just so it's not over overflow. Now, the other reason that you might need to to clear it is actually because of security, especially if you're in public. So if you ever use a public computer, definitely immediately clear the cache as soon as you're done because the next user or person that pays um, or free, if it's a free computer to use or whatever, if they hop on, they're gonna be able to look at that same information on the computer and they could somehow gain access into your accounts or into your life through that computer cache if they were to find some good information in there to be able to find a doorway or foothold into your life, right? So clear the cache, especially when you're using public computers, it's a must. That's not even a question. If you use a public computer, clear the cache as soon as you're done. The third reason you might need to clear it is um, again, just kind of troubleshooting. We already talked about that a lot of times. IT guys or uh, tech professionals, if you call them and, uh, and tell them that they're you're having an issue with their website, that's like going to be one of the first reasons that they tell you, uh, or first troubleshooting methods that they tell you to use is to clear your computer cache. So um, it, it does solve a lot of browser issues. There's a lot of technical reasons for that. Again, it could be because of overflow or incorrect data storage, whatever. But there's a lot of there's a lot of technical reasons to why clearing the cache could just solve a lot of your technical issues, especially browser related. That's the other reason. If you're having trouble with your browser, go in there, clear that thing. Now you could be wondering. How do I clear it? I have no idea how to do that. And that's the perfect question. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it in not only Edge, which is obviously the pre-installed browser for Microsoft computers, Windows computers, um, or computers using Windows operating system, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in Google Chrome as well, and then in Firefox. And Safari is pretty much the same thing. So you'll get the general idea at the end of this video, but I'm also gonna show you how to do it from the Windows side. So let's check that out. All right, so we're gonna start out with uh, Microsoft Edge, right? Like I said, all Windows computers come with Microsoft Edge pre-installed. So we're gonna look for the three dots. The three dots are our friend in all the browsers, right? So three dots lead to settings. So if you click on the three dots, you get a menu, you go to settings, and inside settings, you're gonna see privacy, search, and services. Now there's a bunch of different settings in here. 
So it's a really good for everyone to kind of go through this stuff. It talks about tracking prevention. You can set the settings to strict, balanced, or basic, kind of based on what you want. There's that clear browsing data where we'll find the clear cache. And then underneath you've got privacy required diagnostic data. Now let's take a look in here. We've got clear browsing data, download history, browsing history, and you can even choose how far back you want to go. Last hour, 24 hours, seven days, four weeks, all time, whatever you want to do. You could get pretty custom with it. In fact, inside of here, you got all kinds of settings to get custom with. You could really, really choose your browsing experience. You could, you, you could go right down and choose how much you want them to be able to uh, track your diagnostic data, right? Like so. Um, different errors that you run into online if they're actually going to be like sending logs of that back in you can control all that from here so it's kind of nice like I said take some time go through here but we're focusing today on the clearing so again right here choose all the options make sure you get the cached images and files which is what we've been talking about password site permissions all that good stuff and I would recommend doing all time clear if you're really trying to get clean you could also search for it. So in every single settings, there's the search up here and you could type in cache, right? And it's going to come up with that option in case you're having trouble finding it. Google Chrome, some, same thing. You've got those three dots up there. And then um, for Firefox, it's not three dots. It is three lines, but either way, three dots, settings. Use the search. You could type in cache or usually it's inside of the privacy or security uh, settings. And then once you're inside of there, you can just clear it. So from the window side, it's even it's, it's even easier. You just pull up your control panel. You're going to go into your, into your internet options. And then from the internet options, you actually have the same options to look clear from there. So hope this helped everybody. Uh, again, if you are afraid you got infected or if you're having issues with your browser or you just kind of want to do a cleanup, I recommend going in and doing this as soon as possible. Again, guys, I got to ask that we please get the likes, shares, and follows from everyone below. This is not a monetized channel. We want to continue to be able to bring this information to you. But to do that, we need your support. So please hit the like, share, and follow below. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you.